Welcome to Mornings with Mark. The passage from the Bible that I'm meditating on this morning is Acts chapter 7, verses 55 through 60, one of the texts for this upcoming Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter. And it's the story of the stoning of Stephen. You might remember that he, Stephen, had been chosen to take on administrative responsibilities on behalf of the apostles in the early church. The growth of the church was just overwhelming in terms of all the needs that needed to be cared for, the people that needed to be cared for. The apostles couldn't do it all, needed to focus their attention on prayer, prayers and on preaching, on proclaiming the word. And so they gathered others to do other responsibilities. It's a good organizational work for any group and certainly for the church where we have different gifts and different calls among the body of Christ. Stephen is one of those who is called to this more administrative responsibility, but clearly uh, he does a lot more than just uh, administrate the care of the widows and those who are in need of food. In chapter 6, verse 8, it says, Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. But then some people uh, in the city got jealous of him, concerned about him. They couldn't stand up to his wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. And so they instigated some to speak that he was saying blasphemous things. Uh, Stephen preaches a sermon, and then he is uh, going to be stoned in the verses I'm about to read. I'll actually begin in verse 54, and then 55 is where this coming Sunday's text picks up. When they had heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. This is the first martyr in the Christian church. And it's a, an incredibly sad story, but also a story that points to the inspiration that Stephen experienced as he looked to Jesus, as he looked to heaven, even in the midst of his martyrdom. How important that is for us, for me, in the midst of the storms, the challenges, the struggles of life, to keep looking to heaven, keep looking to Jesus. For as Stephen looked to Jesus, he found the strength and the inspiration to be able to stand with courage in the face of being killed. And not only that, but to be inspired to be Christ-like in the face of death. To be able to have that Christ-like character of offering forgiveness and grace even to those who stoned him to death. And this is my prayer for myself and my prayer for you. That amid the struggles, even as we face death itself, we might keep looking to Jesus. Keep looking to heaven and find in Christ the strength we need. And also the inspiration we need to be Christ-like, more like Jesus every day, whether we live or whether we die, that as people see us, they might see the character of Jesus revealed. So I pray for you and ask your prayers for me that we may grow in graciousness, in that forgiving spirit, that loving spirit, that it be evident that Christ be evident in us through it all. Would you pray with me? Lord, thank you for the examples of so many through the ages, for your example, Jesus, and of Stephen who followed your example even in death, even as he was stoned, in offering grace and forgiveness 
to those who stoned him. Lord, in the midst of our day, may we reflect your character, even when we're pushed and pulled and tempted to reflect the character of our world. May we reflect your character. Give us eyes to see you and to trust you and to be able to reveal your love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And God bless you.